Arsenal recently announced the signing of Fabio Vieira from Porto for £40 million. But I'm guessing if you're an Arsenal fan, chances are you just came to YouTube to check who this guy is and how exactly he plays. Arsenal fans have long dreamed of having a Vieira patrolling their midfield again and will finally get their wish with Porto's Fabio Vieira. But let's take a deeper look into what this 22 year old Portuguese attacking midfielder actually is. Vieira was born in his hometown city of Santa Maria de Fiera and he joined the youth ranks of Porto at the age of 8 in 2008. My man was born on May the 30th in the year 2000. He spent 11 years developing and rising through the ranks at Porto. During the 15 16 season, he went on a brief loan spell to second division side Padrense. Things started turning up for the then teenager in 2018, with Fabio playing for Portugal's under 18 side and the under 19 side, while also making an impact at club level. He would play a crucial role in Porto's run to the 2019 UEFA Youth League final, starting all but two games and opening the score within 17 minutes in the final now as Porto defeated Chelsea 3-1 in Neon, Switzerland. However, his big break came on the 24th of February 2019 when he made his senior debut with Porto B. The following season, he went on to score 7 goals in 23 appearances for the Liga Pro side. He would wear the armband for Porto in the UEFA Youth League whilst also scoring 3 goals as the defending champions fell to RB Salzburg on penalties in the playoffs. These performances earned him a call up to the first team squad. He went on to score 2 goals in 8 games to help Porto leave the title but he wasn't still a mainstay in the first team. In the 2020-21 season, Vieira featured 4 more times for Porto B, scoring twice. Now he was ready. He was ready to graduate. He was ready to move on to the first team officially. He went on to score 3 goals in 29 appearances in all competitions and also starting in Porto's first two Champions League group stage matches, a 3-1 loss to Manchester City and a 2-1 win versus Olympiacos, the latter of which saw him score the Estadio de Dragao. Now, you may be looking at all these statistics like, come on, is this what Arsenal signed? Calm down, calm down, we're getting there. The season he really hit his top levels was the 21-22 season where he recorded 6 goals and 14 assists in 27 games in Portugal's top division as Porto completed the league and cup double. No player provided more assists in the Premier League than he did. He received more playing time this season due to renewing his contract in November until 2025 and the sale of Luis Diaz to Liverpool. Now, with Arsenal signing this guy, it's also important to note that most players who have moved from the Premier League to the Premier League in recent years have had massive success with Bruno Fernandes at United, Luis Diaz at Liverpool, Ruben Diaz at Manchester City and the next now, Fabio Vieira at Arsenal. Wait, wait, if you enjoyed the video so far, Please slap a like on the video, it does help me out and subscribe to notifications on and make videos like this all the time. Now let's move on. Vieira is however yet to make his senior debut for the national team side, but he has been an under 21 international for the past 3 years. Having progressed through the under 18, under 19 and under 20 setups, he was named in the team of the tournament for the UEFA under 19 championship as Portugal lost to Spain in the 2019 Euros. Fabio would start for Portugal alongside Victinia, Diego Costa, Diego Lete and Diego Queiroz, all of whom won the UEFA Youth League in 2019 at Porto. As Rui Jorge's side finished at top of their group of England, Switzerland and Croatia scoring 6 goals, conceding 0 and winning all 3 games. He was also named in the team of the tournament and awarded the player of the tournament for the UEFA Under-21 Championship in 2021 as Portugal finished runners-up once again, the latest player to win the award after Johan Mata, Andre Perlo, Peter Cech, Luis Figo and many more. Alongside Vitinha, the two weaved together magic in every touch and took Portugal to the cusp of glory, only to be narrowly denied by Germany. So it's obvious he's not just a one season wonder and has been putting up top performances for quite some time now. He has recorded 13 goals in 21 games for the under 21 side. He primarily operates as a left sided attacking midfielder but can also be used as a second striker and is said to be the creative spark that Mikel Arteta has been craving in his side. He's 5 foot 7 tall in height, but what he doesn't possess in height, he makes up for in his technical abilities. He has been hailed as one of the brightest midfield prospects in Portuguese football and at the age of 22 has already won 3 trophies with Porto which includes 2 league titles. Rui Jorge, the Portuguese under 21 coach, had this to say about him. He's a very technically advanced player, he's good at defining but he also needs to improve some aspects of his game in order to become a full-fledged player. He knows this and will work on this aspect. Fabio has a great future if he sees fit. I think he wants to be the player he can be. I believe that we can meet a great player. 
The Wonder Kid has also drawn comparisons to Manchester City star Bernardo Silva due to his technical skill and versatility, as well as his work rate and ability deep on the pitch. His vision is elite and is not afraid to try the spectacularly difficult pass, and often he is able to pull it off. Vieira is an attacking midfielder, not a primary goal scorer, not a left sided hit, nor a box to box player. As a left footed number 10, his signing will give more time off for Martin Odegaard, who has been the primary conductor of the Arsenal attack. Last season, Odegaard started 32 of 38 Premier League matches and Arsenal did not have another player of his profile on the bench, but now they do a young Fabio Vieira. Fabio Vieira is a classic number 10 but has often played on the flanks for Porto, often playing alongside the midfield double pivot of Vinitia and Matheus Rubi with Otavio on the other flank. Capable of doing damage from dead ball situations or winning free kick in dangerous areas, his low bounce passes have striking similarities to Mesut Ozil at times. He's a player who can threaten the goalkeeper from long distance, who excels at receiving the ball from deep and treading it forward with line breaking through balls, a player who makes his teammates better. The 22 year old is skilled at linking up with fellow forwards and midfielders with quickly off passes and one twos, a player who knows how to keep possession moving but who is also capable of pulling the trigger and breaking out deep blocks with one incisive pass. He is a superb passer of the ball, a player difficult to stop in full flight. Aside from his passing abilities and vision of the game, he has great dribbling ability and is capable of holding on to the ball amid pressure, creating key passes, firing dangerous set pieces or finding inch perfect true balls and creating a goal out of nothing. With that said, he hasn't shied away from the defensive aspect of the game, he would need that in the Premier League. He is a player capable of unlocking the blocks with a precise true ball but also switching the ball to the other flank with ease and finding the open teammate. Fabio is capable of recognizing an overload on one side and rotating the ball to the other side of the field, boasting a 16.5% long pass success rate. Arsenal have definitely signed a gem of a midfielder in Fabio Vieira and is sure to light up the Premier League next season. This is definitely a step in the right direction for Mikel Arteta and this Arsenal team is one to watch for the coming years. Yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it so far, please like the video, it does help me out, subscribe, notifications on and have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.